hi guys this is chef Jean academy welcome back to this channel in this video i'm going to be looking at the design of reinforced concrete column and we are going to be using the euro code for this design column is generally designed using three methods the first method is using the design equations which are derived from the stress block diagram of, of a column section and we also have the design charts the design charts are actually derived from the design equations by writing or giving an interactive equations and from the equation you provide the interactive diagram between the axial load and the bending moment that are acting on the columns so and then the third method is the approximate method but the design chart is the most common one so a typical design chart for the as per the euro code is what we we are displaying so in order for you to design a column using design chart there are a lot of couple of parameters that you have to obtain from the column section before you can design it and one of them is to analyze the column so when you analyze the column you determine the forces on the column most of the time the axial load which is represented as n and we also have the bending moment which is represented as m so if you look at this chart you can see that this chart is actually we have two axes we have the vertical axis and the horizontal axis the vertical axis denotes n over b h f c k n is the axial load b is the size b and h are the sizes of the column which correspond to the width and the depth of the column then fck is the compressive strength of concrete then along the horizontal axis you have the m which signifies the bending moment depend on the kind of column you are designing either short or slender after you analyze it you compute the bending moment exerted on the column so then divided by bh square fck so but according to the euro code we have just five charts and each of these charts are generally distinguished by this parameter b2 over h so b2 is just the summation of cover plus length plus diameter of bar over 2 divided by the height of the concrete of the of the concrete column so this value actually ranges from 0 0.05 to 0 0.25 according to the euro code so in case maybe after you've analyzed your section you find out that the value of your d2 over h is not within this this range that means you probably need to construct your own design chart so this can actually be done by looking at the design formulas and building an interaction between the axial load and the bending moment the value of d over d over h ranges from 0 0.05 to 0 0.25 and d over h is being defined as c plus length plus diameter of bar over 2 but practically most of the times our columns usually falls the d over h for the column usually falls between these two values and if it does not fall precisely you can easily approximate so before we now look at a a worked example on how to use this design chart to design your column let us look at the applicability of this design chart because for you to be able to apply the design chart there are certain conditions that must be met before you can apply the design chart and one of the application of the design chart is is only used to design rectangular and circular columns if your column is uh, another kind of shape like over shape so in that kind of situation you probably not be able to use the design chart provided by the design standard so in that way you might need to construct your own design charts based on the design formulas or you use the design formula instead to design the column section then another important part is that you have to understand is the design chart is mainly for symmetrically arranged column when your column is not symmetrically arranged or practically we understand that columns are being symmetrically arranged if you go to all construction sites all the reinforcement is being designed and detailed in such a way that the reinforcement are symmetrically arranged so this is what we mean by a column being symmetrically arranged that is you have the same number of reinforcement at each face of the column so let's say this is a column section you have two number of reinforcement here you must have two number of reinforcement at the other corner here that's the meaning 
but let's say in other situations maybe this is your column section and then you have three reinforcement here and then you put about maybe just two reinforcement here then that means this cannot be designed using the design chart you can only design something like this in such a way that you have to arrange your reinforcement symmetrically so let us now look at an example of design of rc column based on the euro code using the design chart so let's take a column of size 230 by 300 the exit alone of the column is 900 kilonewton. We have a bending moment of 50 kilonewton meters. FCK, that is the compressive strength of concrete, is 30. And the FYK, that is the compressive strength of the characteristic strength of steel, is 460 newton per millimeter square. So these are the parameters, uh, these are the informations from the column. If you've been someone that have been watching my video, you know, I've already designed RC column using the BS code. So this is the exact this parameters that we use for the design. So you can try and compare the result of Euro code and the BS code. I will leave the link to that video at the top right corner of this, or you can even check the description to get that. So from the parameters, we can assume B to be 230 we can take our b to be 230 then we take our h to be 300 actually depending on how you want to arrange your reinforcement that will determine what you are going to take as b and h but conventionally the longer side is taken as h so here is h here is b so let's say you have six number of reinforcement that you want to arrange remember they have to be arranged symmetrically so if you take h to be your 300 side the longer side to be your h so that means you are going to put three number of reinforcement here and three number of reinforcement here but let's say you do it the other way around and then you take b to be your this to be your b and this to be your h that is the two 230 side is your b and your the 300 side is your b and the 230 side is your h that means when you design your your column and you end up with a certain number of reinforcement you must arrange it to symmetrically so that means let's say we have eight number of reinforcement that you you have to put four number of reinforcements here and you also have to put four number of reinforcement here making it so you need to know which side of the column is your b and which side of the column is your h so that when you are detailing you detail it correctly so from here we can determine our d2 D2 is using cover plus links plus diameter of bar over 2. Using a cover of 40 for your column, a, bar, a diameter of links of 10 mm for your column, and also a bar size of 16 mm, which is the minimum size for column based on this design. 16 over 2 is 8. Adding 40 plus 10 plus 8 will give us 58. Then from here, you can evaluate your D2 over H. So D2 over H is given as 0 0.2 and from the column information the n is n is 900 and the bending moment is uh 50 kilonewton meters so from here you can easily determine n over b h f c k which is going to be 900 divided by b h and f c k which is the characteristic strength of concrete then the same way you can determine the same way you can determine the next parameter from the design chart, which is moment over B H square over F C K. So the reason why we are doing D over H is so that we can select a particular design chart. As I've told you, the design chart ranges from 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, and 0 0.25. In the description of this video, I'm going to leave the link where you can download the charts for your use. So after determining all the parameters such as n over b h f c k to be 0 0.43, m over b h square f c k to be 0 0.08, then our d over h is 0 0.2. So that means we have to use a chart that has d over d2 over h to be 0 0.2. So definitely this is going to be the chart. You can see that d2 over h in this case is 0 0.2. So reading the vertical axis n over b h square which is 0 0.43, so we have 0 0.4, this is 0 0.5. So this line is going to be 0 0.45. So you draw an, a, vert, a straight line 
and horizontal straight line on 0.43 which is this so in order to read the, the horizontal axis we have to read m over b a square over f c k so which is 0 0.08 so this is 0 0.05 this is 0 0.1 definitely this is going to be 0 0.06 this is 0 0.07 0 0.08 is here so that is why we draw a vertical straight line on 0 0.08 then what you now have to do is you have to read the intersection of these points and check which curve does it lies if you look at the curves you see we have about 10 curves we have the zero curve we have the 0 0.1 curve 0 0.2 curve 0 0.4 curve 0 0.5 curve up to the end so you need to check which curve does your column lies so now the curve the the columns lies the design from the design it lies between curve 0 0.2 and curve 0 0.1 between 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 and if you look at it critically you see that it's about the middle that is the midway between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so because of this we are going to take the value of the intersection to be 0 0.2 0 0.15 so whatever value you read there you have to equate it to this formula as fyk over bh fck as is the area of reinforcement that we need to calculate for the concrete section fyk is the characteristic strength of steel y b and h are the size of the column fck is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete so since we've determined how parameters we need so we can now do the estimation and say let's assume that this formula is equal to k and the k is whatever we read from the graph so from what we read from the graph k is 0 0.15 sorry is not 0 0.2 so after that you can now substitute it make asc the solid of formula that is the area of reinforcement the solid of formula so that means it's 0 0.15 times BHFCK over FYK. So substituting the value of BHFCK and FYK, we have ASC, that is the area of concrete section for the column, is 675. So that means we have to provide reinforcement that is slightly higher than this and the reinforcement that is slightly higher than this is equivalent to 4 number of 16 mm which has an area of 804 you can actually see that you can now compare the result from the british standard and the result to the euro code so if you compare the result you can see that the euro code design is much more economical compared to the british standard if you like what i've shown you you can try to subscribe to the channel share this video with for others to learn Thank you. See you in the next one.